A receiver is the hub of any dedicated home theater system. Receivers act as the core for all of your parts to come together, from hardwired speakers to your peripherals and components like gaming systems, a Blu-ray player, record player, streaming devices, and so much more. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog, and I recently had the chance to test out two receivers with a killer home theater setup that I had in my home temporarily. I reviewed the Onkyo TX-NR686 7.2 channel network AV receiver and the Pioneer VSX933. Since these brands are both owned by the same corporation, I compared them together. I also tried them out with some monitor audio speakers and a subwoofer. You can check out that review here on the channel as well. Now each of these receivers comes with pages of specs and configuration options and that's way more detail than I can get into in a short video here. So head over to blog.bestbuy.ca to read the reviews in detail. Instead, this video is going to cover off a brief overview of each of these receivers. With 4K capabilities, Dolby Atmos, and DTS-X, plus Bluetooth connectivity, the Onkyo TX-NR686 receiver gives you the best of today's new technologies. You can control it with the included remote control or with the input buttons on the front. There's also an app, the Onkyo Controller app, that can connect to your smartphone. This receiver works with Google Chromecast apps and with the Google Assistant once you get it set up, making it very handy and connected. There's a ton of input options, including seven HDMI inputs and two outputs. It's also got 165 watts of power per channel. I did have some initial trouble getting the Onkyo receiver connected to Wi-Fi and to the app. I did have to call customer service to help me out, but all was well after a reset of the unit. Head over to blog.bestbuy to read in more detail what I was facing. Now we'll turn to the Pioneer VSX-933. Like the Onkyo, this receiver is a 7.2 channel option. It too has support for the newest DTS-X technologies and Dolby Atmos, plus it's 4K compatible. With six HDMI inputs in place of the Onkyo 7 and just one HDMI output, it does have two subwoofer pre-outs. The receiver uses a dial to select inputs instead of buttons. These two receivers have a lot of similarities. In fact, even the remotes are basically identical, save for the shape of some of their buttons. This receiver also works with Google Chromecast and the Google Assistant. After trying out both of these receivers, the Pioneer is my pick as clear winner when it comes to ease of use and functionality. Not only do you get help through your setup on screen, but all the connected options worked flawlessly too right from the get-go. The app and the Wi-Fi worked perfectly, unlike the Onkyo where I did need a support call to get things going. If you want to read more about what each of these receivers can do in your home theater and for you, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca and we've got a full write-up there where you can post any questions you have there, of course, or here on the YouTube channel as well. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope you all can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at Erin L Y Y C.